Alright everyone, welcome back to the Final Fantasy X Yuna Only Let's Play. I have a few things I want to show you. First thing is, this guy right here, his name is Ra. He is the best defenseman in the game. And you want to pick him up no matter what, I've already grabbed him for the team. And uh, this is in the uh, Mihen High Road Travel Agency, so he's pretty good. I don't think he can pick her up though. The other person you wanted to pick up by this point in the game was... Shammy. She is an amazing forward that complements Titus really well. She has really high attack, endurance, and shot stats. The three stats that are the most important for a forward. Maybe not attack, but it's really nice for her to be able to walk up to something and smack it. So, second thing I want to show you is I am right now at a place on the sphere grid where I can use my uh, magic sphere that we picked up in Luka. So I'm going to do that right there, and we will activate it real quick. The uh, Again, like I mentioned before, I have these two HP spheres that you can see here, but I'm not going to be using those until I learn Holy, because I did, for the sake of the let's play, kill the Ochu, the Lord Ochu, in, uh, in Kilika, which is something I was not supposed to do. So. I did that though because I did want to continue the let's play without getting too high of level for you guys. So uh, I do have those that I'm not going to be using for quite some time. Uh, the other thing is that we're going to actually be unlocking this level 1 key sphere and going over to this 4 strength node right here as well as grabbing all these health and agility stuff in here before we continue on in the grid towards reflect, which is... Somewhere around here. I don't know where it is, but it's uh, it's further along. There it is. So anyway, I did want to mention those things before we take on this boss. And we're going to do that right now. Now for this boss, it's kind of an optional win in most cases. There, The only real benefit to winning is... I should probably look that up, but... If you do kill the boss, you can rent a chocobo for free, and I believe there are some benefits to actually knocking the boss off the cliff by dealing enough damage and knocking him backwards enough times and everything like that. So there are some benefits to winning this boss. Now as a Yuna only challenge, this is not possible. There is no possible way to win this as a Yuna only challenge, again barring you leveling all the way to holy uh, this early in the game. It's kind of similar to the uh, to the, the Sin's Fin in that respect. Now you can get this boss poisoned, but that is not going to be able to knock it away. So um, for this fight, just have your other characters switch weapons or attack themselves either way. It doesn't really matter. And uh, with Yuna, your entire goal here is to keep yourself alive. So do that until you lose the fight. Fortunately, this is probably the only fight that I know of in this game that you uh, you can survive even if you lose, so that's pretty nice there. Now, um, with most of the other characters, this fight is doable with enough leveling. With uh, Orin, you have to get to his first Strength Sphere, and you have to add the, uh, the sphere that you got from playing Blitzball, the Strength node that you got there. With most of your other characters, it's just pretty straightforward. You just, uh, um, I mean, with Kimari, I forget how you do it. I pretty much forget how you do it with most of your characters, but you do, with Yuna, since we're doing a Yuna-only challenge, you pretty much just um, keep yourself alive until the end of the fight. Now, you can see I got him poisoned there. That's just going to do damage. It's not going to knock him on his back. It's not going to knock him off the cliff. It's just... Uh, I'm going to do damage, so that's actually not helpful in any way. So again, this fight is not possible to win with Yuna. You can see, see here I'm getting knocked off the cliff, and yay, he's all happy and stuff. But um, that's exactly how we want to do it here. And then if you do it... Ah, oh, he took extra poison damage. If you do choose to, uh, to do this and get knocked off, you can still do all of the chocobo stuff riding around with a chocobo, you just have to actually pay to rent it, which, to be honest, is not a big deal at this point. I'll show you how much money I have here in a second once we get through these uh, um, storyline stuff that I'm going to skip forward on. But yeah, for everyone else, 
now on these fights, it's pretty straightforward. Of course, if you've got a Riku only challenge going, then you uh, you can use anyone, use a power break, use a dark attack, use whatever you feel like using appropriately. So, okay, um, let me show you this right now. As you can see, I now have a, just under forty thousand gil, which is enough to buy most every. Well, it's going to be enough to buy anything at this point in the game. There's just no problems here. And uh, I believe you can still loan Gil to Owaka, which you can see right back there. Now I'm going to... I'll save the game in a little bit. Well, let's go talk to Owaka. I believe you can still loan Gil to him. Yes, you can. He'll, show, he'll sell you a few items. They're pretty useless compared to what you have now, but... Yeah, you can lend Gil to Owaka. Now, the way the Gil works, the lending system, as you can see, I've already lent him 1001 in the bottom left corner. If you, I believe the most you can loan him is uh, 10,001, but of course we've already loaned him some. It's, uh, it does reduce the, the only thing that loaning him Gil does is reduce the amount of money that it costs to buy things later on in the game. Now, I mean, I have the money here, but I'm not going to go ahead and do it because I already have the minimum for the second best option, which is the 1001. And the way it works is if you do 11, it um, it reduces it by a certain amount, or 101, it reduces it again. 1001, oops, it reduces it again. And if you go up to 10,001, I believe that is the best reduction. I believe it's something like 50% reduction, but don't hold me to that. It's just something along those lines. So, but we don't want to lend him anymore because we're going to have plenty of money anyway. And again, like I said, he has a few potions, Phoenix Downs, anecdotes, and, and it, antidotes. I always get that word wrong. Eye drops and echo stream screens. The echo streams, you might buy a few of those just in case you get um, silenced or something. They can be pretty handy. Um, eye drops, eh. I'm just buying because I have money at this point. So, I mean, these items, the Phoenix Downs are not useful unless Yuna is not in the party. So, I mean, you can buy, you can stock up on some of them just for those times when Yuna's not around or when your character's not around, of course. So, um, you do want to stick near the save sphere for a little while at least to save the game because you're going to start fighting harder things like you can see here now this guy we're familiar with the dual horn this is a new fighter uh thunderfland and if you, if you continue on you will find others that are similarly new and, and dangerous and, but the strategy doesn't really change just poison the things you can heal until they die and then if you want to deal with the rest of them or just run away i believe the thunderfland similar to the bombs earlier on, can drop elemental weapons, so that can be handy. So, and, and also there's some ice things on this road too that can drop elementals, but anyway, that is about it for this one. Once you're ready, once you're done fighting these things, just make your way, ooh, that can be poison. Just start making your way up to the uh, Mushroom Rock Road. That's where we're gonna be doing a, quite a bit of leveling beyond where we're at now, so just, just kind of continue doing that, continue fighting here until you're ready for that point, and uh, jump up to there as, at that point. So it's a pretty straightforward strategy. And I will probably just catch you guys on the Mushroom Rock Road next. So we will, um, we will see you there. Oh, by the way, don't, don't be afraid to use high potions because if you did the farming for X potions earlier on, you should have 99. And so with Yuna, you shouldn't be using them very often, just when you get really low. Just uh, just use those when you feel that you're in kind of a critical situation. You need, you need more than 500 health. And uh, yeah. Anyway, that's about all I have to talk about for this episode. So I will catch you guys on the next one.